I recognize this mirror. There's a friend of mine that has the exact same frame. It's from Ikea, same with those chairs. Breakfast tables, Ikea. These lights, Ikea. Glasses as well, <laughs> so, Ikea. The chairs, Ikea. I'm starting to think that we have arrived in Sweden, but I'm not sure. currently waiting for yesterday's vlog to upload and once that's done I'm gonna keep driving because we've been driving almost the entire day so far. <laughs> Good flan. Good flan. Swedish. This is an international sensation. It's basically cinnamon buns but in a tinier format. One of the best things on planet earth and when you're driving a car it tastes even better. It's not food but it's very tasty. I can highly recommend it. And fun fact this factory that makes these five minutes from my apartment at home. Huh? I have absolutely no idea how much that is right now, but paying 331 crowns per liter when we pay 24 crowns per liter at home sounds insane. They definitely should do something about the currency here because it feels like everything is very expensive, even though it might not be. Maybe like remove the last digits, something like that? Who knows? Guess what? The gasoline cost us 14,235 crowns. <laughs> no joke. We have probably spent like, I, let me just see the microphone here. I think around six hours in the car today, trying to drive from the west coast of the island down towards the lava stuff again. It was a really great drive up to the west coast. I'm gonna throw up a map right here so you can see where we went, but the downside was that everything took a really long time to drive to because of the roads. So if you go, plan ahead, don't just wing it. But now, Q&A time. What is your favorite place outside of Sweden? How to become one of the badass YouTubers like yourself. I can't say that I'm a badass YouTuber, but thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, even though I don't want to be badass, I want to be like a, some sort of like a role model for younger guys and girls to actually go for and work hard for what they want to do. But I'm going to say just do what you do and love what you do and then do everything in your power to get to the point where you want to be. Your picture profile for Sony a7 III. I'm not entirely sure. I have a couple of videos on my main channel that you can head over and check out. How's your house hunt going? Actually very well, but current situation in the world makes everything a little bit hard. How's your Spanish? Well, basically the only thing that I can say is una cerveza por favor and gracias. What is your net worth? What is this even matter? What is the next evolution for vlogging? Honestly, I have absolutely no idea because I just think that documenting and having fun is what vlogging should be all about. But I do think that being more personal with your audience will help you to move forward in the future. And also I think that the whole B-roll kind of like slow motion craze is a little bit died out. So I would say that make your edits interesting to watch. That is probably gonna be the biggest thing. Is there any chance that you will make a behind the scenes of the daily vlog? If you're not subscribed to my main channel yet, I highly recommend you do so because there will be something there pretty soon. What is your goal for 2022 with your channel? I'm gonna make more videos that I enjoy to make, but also prioritize the videos that bring in the dough, if you want to use that kind of I don't know, comparison. But it's basically gonna be more focused on tutorials and BTS and those kind of things instead of posting any vlogs on my main channel. This channel, however, is still gonna be vlogs and 
behind the scenes stuff of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Do you always know what your vlog is about when you start the day? Absolutely not. I have most of the time no idea on how to start my vlog. Usually I find something to talk about and then when that's done, you know, how it is. Oscar is playing around the bone. What are the cameras that you're shooting with right now to vlog? Well, this camera is a... <laughs> and I also use my iPhone 13 Pro to be able to get a little bit of B-roll where this camera can't really come along. You said that videos about photography are dead. What is next? Only yourself. No, I don't think photography is dead necessarily, but I think that the way that it has been it has definitely died out. I think that there will be more required from someone to gain the interest of an audience instead of trying to do what already has been done. Will you try an FPV drone? <laughs> Why did you stop doing daily vlogs? Well, mainly because I traveled home from Canada and I got really jet lagged, was gonna spend some time with the family, didn't want to do a daily vlog. That's the reason why. I'm probably gonna pick it up in September again because I think it's so much fun. One advice for people that are new in the video field. Can't stress this enough, practice. Do you have a plan B if YouTube somehow is offline dead or not a thing? Absolutely, I've been thinking about this a whole lot and I think that my thing would be to just get another job. Don't really care where it is because I've been working on DHL, I've been working as a forklift driver. I could fold boxes for that matter. I wouldn't honestly care as long as I can provide for my family. But with that said, I'm gonna try to keep this job for as long as I possibly can because I love it. Why don't you sell the PL caps? Well, uh, I kind of like the fact that there's only one in the entire world, but who knows, maybe in the future might be something that is coming. I don't know. How did that uh, did you go? I, I almost uh, hit myself with the drone. <laughs> Any good shots? Uh, I guess it was... Uh, pretty windy, right? Yeah, pretty windy and it's uh, kind of dark as well, so I get the ISO Really high. Yeah, true. Oscar has really been stepping up the FPV game lately. He's uh, he's getting really good at flying FPV. It's hard, very hard. It's very fun. Yeah, it's totally different uh, than regular drone. Not that I know of anything like that, but yeah. <clears throat> One of the fun things with this trip and every other trip that I go to is that I don't really have a hotel booked because I don't know where I'm gonna end up on a day like this. So I usually book it on the evening and then drive when I know where it's going to be. It's kind of a fun way to just enjoy the island a little bit more instead of having to go to the hotel, check in and drop your bags and then keep driving. Highly recommend that. The road, a little bit rocked, a little bit of a dirt. <laughs> Good thing, man. Now we're talking with it. Man, through what's up, Here we go. Oh.